I'm Nigel Cochran. I'm the owner uh, of Zepto Contracting, and it's an asbestos abatement company, which I started uh, just over a year ago. And uh, we've grown pretty fast because uh, I believe in doing everything right and taking care of my employees and uh, following all the right procedures. Specializing in drywall, stucco, flooring, the other sources of asbestos. In this particular job, it turned out that lath and plaster tested positive, which is unusual, which has made the job really difficult and complex. It turned it from a moderate risk to a high risk. All of the blown in insulation that's mixed in with the lath and plaster makes a very difficult and complex job. This job is a high risk job, so we have um, air monitoring by an environmental company and that's what this machine is here. It sucks air into, the, into a filter and it measures the fiber count. Um, the idea is that you don't want any fibers coming out from the, from the work area um, out through. Um, this ensures that all the workers are, are coming out. When they come out, they come out clean. We've got the containment set up here. We've got a clean room, a shower, and a dirty room. We've got two negative air units running inside. It's drawing the air through here. That's why it's being um, uh, blown open the doorway because the air, you want the airflow going through here. The clean air is going in. It's going into the containment area. It's going through the negative air units which have HEPA filters and then it's exhausting outside uh, clean air. Air monitoring system is set up to evaluate the air outside also, um, an occupational one has already been done to me so that it measures the air while I'm working to ensure that the fiber counts aren't, aren't too high and that, that they're within the limit of the safety equipment that we have, that we're using. The procedures of going in are going into a clean room where you get changed and you get your clothes off, um, put the suit on, mask, go in through a shower, through a dirty room, and then into the work area. Once you've done, you go into the work area, now you can do your work. And then the re on the reverse, on the way out, you come out, you take out off your suit, you throw that away as asbestos containing waste. Uh, you take your mask off, you go into the shower, you shower down uh, and clean your mask, come out into the clean room, towel down, put your clean clothes on, and then you're ready to exit the, the containment. This house was built in 1911 for the workers that were, were cutting down the trees. This is the original roof line here, and this was added in 1927. This room was added here by extending the roof out. We've had to take down all of the lath and plaster and all of the extra drywall that was uh, added over the years. In, uh, there was eight layers of wall paper of all different kinds. I found a newspaper from 1927. The idea is to get this, uh, all of the asbestos material out, cleaned, HEPA vacuumed, wiped. Then we spray an encapsulant, which is like a glue, down over the walls and, and all the other materials that are going to be staying there. We get air clearance and then the house is ready to continue with the demolition.